Holy crap, pull it back, pull it back. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is gonna be a slaughter. Infantry, disembark. Let's get a- oh my god, we're getting slaughtered! Pull back, stop, reverse, 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 get out of there! Okay, so uh, we're going to play a little bit of Combat Mission Shock Force, not too long, um, because I've got other things to do and I've got work tomorrow, so I uh, can't really stay around for too long. But uh, we will quick fire into a battle, and we'll do a quick battle. Now, I've never done this before, um, but we're going to do a bit of a uh, bit of a random thing we've got going on here. So let's set up Forest. We're going to be. What do you think I should be? Let's be the Canadians. Fuck it, I've not been the Canadians yet. No, no, because I don't want to spoil it when I do the campaign. Pretty dandy. Good good thing, Carl. Good thing. Um, so, we are going to be... Mm, doesn't let me be anything other than that. Okay, we want to go forest, then maybe we'll go hills. Let me be anything else. There we go. Um, let's go heavy infantry, the way I like it. Uh, quality. Excellent. Uh, what the hell quality of what means? Oh, the quality of the troops. Let's go average. Max fitness. Uh, fit. Force adjustment. No change, I guess. Uh, defender will be... Let's have a look here. Uh, <laughs> we'll go against our own NATO allies. No, we'll go against the Syrians again. And we'll go against the Republican Guard. We'll go random. And we'll give them an average as well. And we'll give them fit as well. We'll keep a little even Stevens. 2008, the year I went to Afghanistan. Never seen this game before. Same here. Oh gosh, I'm not live, I believe. Uh, you started early. I know I started early. I'm sorry. It's because my time zones are incorrect. It was going on a US time zone, so Canadian, so I'm sorry. That's a my bad. Uh, weather. Let's go for... Yeah, clear seems fine. Let's roll with that, shall we? I've never done this before. Real time. We'll go... Uh... Let's just go veteran. Scenario author test. I don't know what that means, but let's just try that. Going on, Matimus. You started early. Well, thank you for joining me today, guys. Uh, not exactly the most uh, interesting video for some of you, I'm sure, being playing Combat Mission Shock Force, but it is a lot of fun. I enjoy this game. Uh, afterwards, after this mission, I probably do a bit more of quench questions, questions and answers again, so you guys can throw your questions and answers my way and uh, have a quick chat with me. Holy shit, have we got a lot of units here. This is going to be interesting. That is a lot of Bradleys. Holy crap. Um, well, this is going to be special, I'm not going to lie to you. So, first of all, let's spread out these boys a little bit then. We've got a Bradley... I mean, this is actually quite fitting, because interestingly enough, guys, I've just finished my Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle review video, which will be coming out in the next few days, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I had a lot of fun making it, and I mean a lot of fun. It was an absolute blast. Um, so, I'm going to try my best to spread these troops out a little bit, because we've got a lot of shit going on here. This is going to be chaos. Uh, there's a lot of armor uh, coming out of this fucking blue force side. So let's have a look at the terrain. It looks pretty gnarly in terms of... Good God, there's a lot of trenches here. This is like Death Valley. Um, hey, Andrew, how's it going, bud? Uh, you're awesome. I'm not awesome. You guys are awesome. Listening to vets like you motivates me to join the military. Good for you. I really appreciate that. I uh, I hope you do uh, get inspired to join. Um, hopefully it's not just me that has done that, though. Hopefully you have your own personal passion in the military. Um, because it's a good thing. So, yeah, we're going to... Oh, my God. Like, seriously, look how many freaking Bradleys we've got going on here. This is insane. I'm just going to kickstart it and see what happens. This is going to be horrible. i got a feeling this is just going to go very, very wrong. Okay, so let's have a look what we got in the back of some of these vehicles here. A lot of infantry squads. So let's first of all try and push some of these Bradleys. I don't know if they can get up here, but we'll try. I don't think they can. I think they're going to have to go around. Yes, they are. Oh, it's a, it's a, this is like Ambush Alley. Have I ever tried multiplayer? No, I haven't tried multiplayer on this yet. I would like to, though. Okay, troops, let's start moving. Bradleys forward. This is literally an entire, like brigade worth of fucking Bradleys we got going on here. It's just going to be a nightmare. And I've got a good feeling I'm going to be up against, like, Republican Guard T-72s 
and just like the gnarliest armor packages they have. But we'll see, shall we? Let's see what happens. Love your work. Thanks, Anthony, bud. I really appreciate that. It is the Bradley army. Like, seriously, look how many fucking Bradleys we got going on here. There's a lot of Bradleys. I'm just interested and more kind of nervous as to what the enemy's going to have. Thinking of joining the Royal Signals, what do you think of them? Um, a lot of people have been asking me these questions lately, guys, of what do I think of a unit, or what do I think of a branch of the military? Guys, we all work together. It's not really about what I think of them. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a personal perspective of every single branch of the British Army, or any military branch for that matter. But, uh, I mean, I've obviously worked alongside the Royal Signals. They're a good bunch of guys that do their job correctly for the most part. Never really had any issues with them. Um, good bunch of fellas. I mean, they come out with a lot of qualifications, I'll give you that, especially if they're going into specialist roles. So, just something to think about. Uh, Maximus Game, will you ever do a review of the Italian Ariette tank? Well, my friend, if you actually look on my channel, you'll realize that I already have done a video on the Ariette tank. So, hopefully, that'll give you a little bit of a. Uh, Oh my goodness! We're getting air supported already. Holy crap! Okay, let's let's get moving these troops very quickly then. Okay, time to start moving, boys. We're getting fucking fast air coming down on us. Push it out. Spread it out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Push. 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 He's still heading up that hill. I've got to change his order. Okay, let's spread it out. Get across. Get across. Get across. Get across. They're bringing in fast air already. That's horrible. Greetings from BC. Oh man, do I ever want to go to BC. There's no other place in the entire of Canada that I've heard people say good things other than BC. Like, no one I've met in Canada has said anything bad about BC, from my opinion, yet. Some of you guys drive a little crazy, though, from where I'm from. Like, holy crap. Oh shit, son! Oh damn, they got some armor out there somewhere. Holy crap, pull it back, pull it back. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is gonna be a slaughter. Infantry, disembark. Let's get a- oh my god, we're getting slaughtered! Pull back! Stop! Reverse! 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 Get out of there! Get out of there! There's an entire armor brigade across that fucking hillside. Get out of there now! It's gonna be a massacre! There's tanks! Oh shit! I knew it was gonna be this! I knew it was gonna be- Oh shit, boys. You best get running. Oh my god, we're getting hammered. We're getting absolutely slaughtered. This was a bad idea. This is just like a massacre. This is literally a massacre. I love how we're launching javelins, yet yeah, like... Oh my god! <laughs> okay, troops disembark. Go, go, go. Get off this fucking... Entrenchment here. Holy crap, we're getting slammed. I do own the game if you ever want to play. Will do, Nightfall. I will uh, try my best to schedule something with you guys. Guys, remember, if you do want to play a game with me privately, um, feel free to check out my Patreon account. Uh, as of because I've been getting so many damn requests lately, guys, I honestly I can't play all these games with you. Um, I get close to, like, 60 to 70 requests via Steam, Discord, and via email for games to play with people, and I just can't do it. So if you do want to have a private live stream play, or just play with me one-on-one, -on -one, and you're not... Um, already part of my legion, then uh, you can contribute towards my Patreon account. There is a rewards program. You will get your own dedicated time with me to play if that is something you're willing to do. Uh, but apart from that, guys, I tend to side to not play too many games with people as of right now just for the fact I'm really busy with my family and my career um, and soon-to-be Army Reserve. So if you have any interest in wanting to play, um, please feel free to stop by my Patreon account and let me know so I can kind of dedicate some time especially for you. Um, we, this is a massacre, guys. We are getting absolutely, utterly hammered. Um, and I'm not too sure exactly what to do here. Um, it says you're live, but the video is over. Oh, that's strange. Okay, well, uh, I don't know what to do about that, fellas, to be honest. I really don't. Um, what are we going to do here? We're getting absolutely slaughtered. I got... Seven, eight Bradleys down. We've got infantry scattered all over the place. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to engage these tanks. Oh crap. Okay. Um, there's not even a place where I can get up. Yeah, I think this is the thing we're going to call this one quits. We're going to try a different one here because that was just disgusting. Let's try a uh, meeting engagement. We're going to say medium size environment town. 
US Army Heavy Infantry, we're gonna go just infantry. No, let's go let's go mix. Let's get a bit of a mix in there. Medium infantry. Let's give it a random. Quality average, quality fair. Let's make them fair, because they were kicking my ass. And we'll put them as uh, just standard infantry. Um, force adjustment. Let's do plus 25% for the attacker, just to give them a little bit more, because normally if you go into a combat environment, guys, you're always going to be outnumbering the enemy 3 to 1. That's normally the ratio. Uh, the Bradley army died. Yes, the Bradley army got hammered. We're going to try something else here, guys, because there was absolutely no way I was going to have any way of winning that one, or even making any substantial effort to attack them. Uh, welcome. By the way, you're from, uh, Army Kid, you're from PEI. You're a long way out, buddy. And I'm from Saskatchewan. A lot of Canadians in today. Well, welcome, fellow Canadians. I salute you into turning up to my live stream today. Holy crap, look at the amount of fucking vehicles we have. That's a lot of Humvees. That's a lot of Humvees. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, um, I guess we'll... Hey, Matsmus, I watched your Armor 3 video completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah, a lot of people are really triggered by that video. They really are not impressed with me uh, slandering the Armor 3 franchise. As mentioned in the video, and a lot of people didn't quite get to that stage maybe in the video, is I wasn't really tearing into the game itself. It was just my own personal frustrations. I'm not saying that Armor 3 is a terrible game, but uh, it definitely has its moments. Now then, what have we got going on here? Well, we've got a town in front of us. We've got a clusterfuck of Armor or strikers and infantry and Humvees. Um, I'm just going to kickstart it and see what we go. Uh, no love for America. Of course I have love for America. I have love for America wholeheartedly. And you guys should already know that. It shouldn't even be a question. Okay, let's see what's going on here then. Let's see if we can deploy some of these boys. This is going to be this is going to be chaos. i got a feeling this is just going to be absolute chaos. Okay. Got some, we've got all sorts of shit going on here. Okay, well, first of all, let's try and bring these strikers up forward. Get the Humvees spread out a little bit. I don't know how this is going to pan out, guys. I've got a good feeling it's just going to go horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. But we'll see. We'll give it a go. This is just a random map. Nothing nothing uh, orchestrated here. It's just going to be a kind of see-how-it-goes kind of thing. Let's fill all these nooks and crannies. I'm going to get this team to disembark, try and get out. Can he get out? No, that's just a Humvee. Okay, it's fine. Uh, let's pull the Humvees into some cover then, at least. Humvees get into cover. What else are you guys talking about over here? Omar Nelson Bradley is doing a barrel rolls in his grave right now. Well, he isn't going to be doing barrel rolls because, I, as I mentioned just before, I have recently just completed my Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle review. Uh, it will be being released in the next few days here, as to not flood the channel with too many videos. Stand by for that, guys. I put a lot of interesting uh, content in there. and some. I'm not going to spoil it. You'll enjoy it. I think you'll really enjoy it. So just stand by for that one. Okay, strikers up front. Holy cow, I've got so many vehicles. I don't even know where to put them. Okay, let's start pushing out these Humvees. Try and get some of these 50 cals pushed out. Uh, I cannot get combat mission to work. Um, not sure why that would be. Contact Battlefront, they're normally pretty good with their support, buddy. Uh, Battlefront games are pretty good with support, and also I know it's it's not a normally a computer demand problem, because it's quite an old game, so it shouldn't be anything like that. Matt Smith, did you ever work on the Viking during their time in the Rimi? I did not, um, but I worked alongside people who did. Um, a lot of people who did, and uh, they thoroughly enjoyed it. Ever had a go at developing any games or mods myself? Unfortunately, no, it's really not my thing. I'm very computer illiterate, other than firing it up and stuff like that, really. It's not really my thing. Um, I'd love to try, but I would just I can almost guarantee I would suck at it. Okay, let's push out some more troops on the left flank here. What are you guys are talking about? Speedsoft and Milsim, my favorite. What is Speedsoft? Someone tell me what Speedsoft is. Could you do a video on light tanks? In the future, for sure. Like I said, I've only got so limited time. I'm going to try and fulfill it as best as I can for you guys, but uh, there's only so much I can do. Someone is shouting re. It's one of my favorite sayings. S off with low cap mags. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, no, I've never really been interested in any of the sort of airsoft stuff, mainly for the fact... I mean, I have been interested. I'd really like to give it a go, but I feel like it's just going to be a lot of trolling and cringiness. Hey Dylan, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Okay, we need to start getting some... Uh, oh, we do have artillery support. That'd be nice. Let's try and get some forward observers out there then. We've got a lot of forward observers here. Dismount. Uh, da, 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 da. Airsoft is amazing. Just try it. I, I want to just try it, but... Hey, Patrick. Air... Man, I don't even want to talk about Northern Inferno because I've got to the point where I just, like, am headbutting the keyboard because I have no idea what I'm doing. I need to just, like, sit down and spend a good couple of days trying it out. And I apologize, sir, for not trying it out more, because I know you have donated me the game, but it's a very in-depth game. Like, it's not, you know, there's a lot of moving parts in that game. Um, hey, Mats, what are your thoughts on the more computerized cars, trucks, all around the vehicles these days? Um, well, this is a subject I need to talk about in the future in terms of technology and, and armored fighting vehicles and such, or any kind of military vehicles, but... They have their limitations to the point that once an electronic system fails, you're screwed. And that's that, right? It's it's not coming back. You're pretty much done for. Um, so it's it's a tough line to draw between having too much tech and having enough that's reliable enough to actually win you the firefight. What else we got going here? Um, would you consider Milson Paintball? I would consider Milson Paintball, but uh, again, it's one of those things that I just... I feel like I'm going to come across assholes and I'm not going to handle myself very well in dealing with them because... I don't know, it's just, yeah. Um, by the way, what do you think about the CVLT family? My country bought 120 of them, I'm a bit skeptical. I would be skeptical too. <laughs> They've had their time, let me just put it like that. Fantastic vehicle for its day, but not anymore. It's it's definitely a vehicle that needs to have a step down, and that's why the British Army has finally decided to do so. Have you ever tried Rainbow Six Siege? I have, I was actually gifted it, but unfortunately I don't have a graphics board powerful enough to be ap actually able to play it. Um, I'm actually borrowing someone's graphics card right now because mine is so poor. So, yeah, unfortunately, no, I won't play Rainbow Six Siege for probably quite some time, boys, which is a sad shame because it does look like a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, just wanted to say that your videos are awesome. Hope you keep up the good work. Thank you, Sal. Uh, Sal? Thank you so much, Calvin. That really means a lot. I appreciate that so much, buddy. Um, yeah, people not calling their shorts. Shots, yeah. I start phase one in May. It's nice to see British Fest on YouTube that know their shit. You join the RTR. Good for you, Dylan, buddy. You're going to have a fantastic time. What uh, What are you aiming to be a part of? Uh, Armored Recon? Challenger 2? NBC? Because obviously there's various different roles you can have in the RTR. But good for you, buddy. And thank you so much. I'm glad that uh, I come across as knowing my shit. I don't try and make out like I don't, which is good. I guess that's a good start. Let's get these machine gunners up here, shall we? Need to get some firepower on this roof. M240 Bravos, get them on the tripods. Uh, what else we got going? Trust me, the rush from Paintball... M I get that. I, I'm sure it is a rush. And I'd love to have all the gear and, you know, have fun with, you know, get back into the routine of the sort of the military sim community. But, uh, you know, I just get the vibe of the same sort of vibe I get when I, when I play Armor 3. I know that sounds a little weird to compare, but that's just kind of the way I feel about it right now. Looks like these... Uh, these troops down this road are getting absolutely fucking hammered. There's a lot of question marks and a lot of artillery pieces going down here, but not much actually able to be seen. They're not returning fire yet either, which is good. Uh, 1060 is best for its price. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I just recently got my new tattoo, guys. So uh, I don't know if you can see that. Wait until it comes up in the stream. But uh, there we go. So uh, that cost me a little bit of money, and I really want to get that because I've been putting it off for so long. And my Tattoo art artist was just like, hey buddy, I've got a spot open, do you want to do it? And I'm like, fucking right I do. So the graphics card will have to wait, unfortunately, guys. I can't afford much more than that as of right now. Um, have I ever tried Project Reality? I have. It's not for me, guys. I'm sorry. It's, it feels like a polished turd. Um, it's a great game, I'm sure, for those who have loved it since day one. But for someone entering into it now who's never played it before... I'd much rather play games like Squad. Oh, we're getting into it heavy now. Time to bring the rain. Let's get that forward observer. Is he on the roof? Yes, he is. Hopefully he has good line of sight. Linear target. Oh, he's got no line of sight. Anyway, I've got no two-story buildings. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry. Project Reality just really isn't for me. Um, I'm sure you, you, once you move up to the Milsim level of airsoft, things get a lot more professional. Yeah, but there's nowhere around my area, I think, that has that much professionalism. I'm not sure, anyway. The Challenger 2, probably, although I think a lot of RTR boys have retrained on all hops in Afghan. Yeah, exactly. You could go wherever you're supposed to go. Gotta say, man, you were the reason I bought the Wargame Red Dragon. I'm glad, Jester. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Are you interested in Armour 3 100 player PvP with a focus on tanks? Uh, probably not, sadly, no. Uh, thanks, Jess, I'm glad you like my videos, but Um, I played Airsoft and Nilsson didn't cancel many assholes. I guess it all depends on the environment that you're in and the people you're around. I mean, I I, I can almost guarantee this going. This is a big firefight, guys. Holy crap, we got firepower going down all over the place. Um, I can almost guarantee I'd probably get along with a lot of airsofters and have a lot of fun doing it. Need to get these M240s deployed. Um, but at the end of the day, it, I don't know. It, it just seems like it seems like something that could go very, very wrong very, very quickly. Um, do you wish the Canadian cadets would get blank fire rifles? Yes, I do, Mr. Ripstra, and you know this. Uh, that's good. But, of course, maybe finally think... <coughs> I smell what? <coughs> Choking to death. My wife is getting me sick. Ugh. There's a lot of firepower going down here, guys. We've got this entire city just completely overlooked. Uh, we're going to try and do a little sneaky left flanking maneuver here as we seem to have got the majority of the suppression going down in the center here. Uh, what else we got going on here? Airsoft probably costs a lot as well. I don't think it would be the cost that would concern me, because if it was something I was really passionate about, and I think I could be, then I'd really get into it. What I'd need to have to happen with Airsoft is actually have a group of friends who I know and can get along with play with another group of friends who I know and get along with. I don't think I could play with just strangers, and they'd have to be at a certain age group. I know that sounds very rude to say that, but it just feels like it wouldn't work out well with playing with teenagers at, at my age. You know, it just seems a little... Not teenagers as such. You know what I'm getting at, though. Just kind of the immature age group setting. So, uh, what else we got going there? Glad you know I am watching. <laughs> uh, Private Milk. Lads. Hello, lads. Is the tattoo still oozing? Hell yes, it is. It is seeking, seeping plasma quite a bit right now. It hurts like a mother. But that's okay. It's a part and parcel of having a tattoo. i got to admit, I love having the rush of the... The pain endorphins after you've had a tattoo is not much else that beats that. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of pain to take in one sitting, but it's worth it. It's worth it. I enjoy getting tattoos. Four hundred U.S. dollars for an airsoft M1911. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be uh, buying that anytime soon, unfortunately. Okay, let's see if we can get this left flank and maneuver going then, so you can overrun these bastards. Seems to be rolling in quite nicely. They are completely suppressed. They have not moved from this area by so far, it seems. Um, what's up with the chips bag behind you? What chips bag? Oh, what chips bag? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. There's no chips bag there. <laughs> I wish I lived in a country that didn't hate guns so much. Half tempted to move to New Zealand, but I love my country too much to do that. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, that's tough. Um, I fortunately live in a country where guns are mostly allowed, which is quite lucky, but uh, things may change. They can change very quickly. Uh, in your next video, you need to show the vi the whole thing, dude. In your next video, you need to show the whole thing, dude. I don't know what you mean, the whole thing. I thought I showed the whole thing. If you are willing to disclose this, what was the moment during your tours you were most afraid? Um, ooh, good question. Now, I'm, I'm happy to talk about my tour, guys. I'm, it's completely fine. Most afraid. Um... Oh, God, that's a tough one. I think I was most afraid when I was tasked with going to support a couple of warriors heading down an alleyway, and we knew that only a week ago that, that alleyway had an IED placed down it, a very large IED, which had actually denied a... denied being taken out, a uh, Viking vehicle, along with a Snatch Land Rover, um, which was very... St I mean, I was inside a warrior, but even at that time, because the IED blast was so big, um, it's very off-putting off and unnerving driving down that kind of environment because you never know what might happen. And then what happened is once we actually got to the casualty vehicle that was damaged, it wasn't damaged for friendly, uh, from any fire, but it was damaged from just bad maintenance really or just poor engineering. I had to get out on foot and obviously do all the track work and stuff with it. So walking around an area that's just been recently IED planted, it's a little unnerving. So that was pretty scary. Uh, what does your tattoo look like? It is an hourglass. It's, it looks better this way. You can't see it very well right now, guys. I'll send you a picture. I'll put it on up on my um, up on my uh, Discord there, guys. If you're not on my Discord, I would really appreciate if you can go and stop by. Again, if you do wish to have any private live stream games 
or private gaming sessions with me, please go check out my Patreon account. There is the ability to have a reward system where you, be, you will be notably remembered and placed into a criteria where you will actually be able to play live games uh, with me. And if you do have YouTube channels, I will happily promote them for you. Uh, on my channel and give you lots of coverage, so it's just an option. Also, for those of you who are new to the Steel Beast game or want to start playing with me, then that's an option too. Uh, there's some new reward packages there, so please go feel free to check out my Patreon. And if not, I just appreciate you stopping by today and coming to watch the stream. It's, it means a lot. Oh, total victory. Beautiful. What do you think? I play another one? I can throw, throw some comments in the section here and we'll, we'll see what else. Hey, Sheer, buddy. Nice to see you. Uh... Okay, take care, Ripster bud. Uh, what Herrick was you a part of? I'm guessing from the old gear early ones. I was in Herrick 8. Uh, and yes, I can't wait to see it, dude. Um, what was your favorite tool part of your kit during your tour? Favorite tool? <laughs> um, actually, I have a, um, a Gerber uh, multi-tool that my mother gave me just before I deployed to Afghanistan. And uh, I got to admit... That was probably the most useful... Um, oh, special forces, let's do that. It was the most useful bit of kit I'd had ever. Um, because I still have it to this day. And it's fantastic. It was just awesome. Um, what was your funniest moment that happened while you were in the army? Oh, God. I'll come back to me. The Discord link in the description is for those who are interested. There, there you go. What time is it right now in my area? Right now, it is 7.28 at night. Uh, use US Marine Corps. Now I want to be the Syrians. Let's try and take the Syrians on. And we're going to go against the US Marine Corps. Let's see how this goes. This is going to be special forces of the Syrian army uh, against the US Marine Corps. We're going to go uh, hills. Mm, village. Let's go village. Is it worth bringing my own sniper tape for phase one and any other bits of kit on this? Dylan, seriously, bud, don't take anything else you don't need. It's not worth it. They're going to screen for all the shit you don't need anyway. Take exactly what they ask you to take on the kit list, nothing more, nothing less. Make it simple. The saying goes, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Seriously, dude. Don't take anything else you don't need, it's not worth it. And especially sniper tape. You ain't gonna need it, bud, trust me. Ever pistol whipped someone? Have I, sorry, have I ever pistol wiped someone? No, I haven't ever pistol wiped someone. Uh, we are... Blue Fall. There we go. Uh kit list that you would recommend bringing? Uh, I can give you some recommendations for sure. Um, lots of good good socks. Good socks is a good start. Get some good high quality t-shirts, not nasty uh, horrible ones. Try and get some of those Under Armour ones. Green, not black, green. Uh, not cotton, because once it gets wet, it's done for. Because you'll be doing a lot of running, you'll be doing a lot of outside stuff. T-shirts are a big one. Now you're going to get issued army issued ones. Probably for your first bit of time in basic, they'll tell you to wear that. But towards the end of your basic training, you'll get some ability to wear your own stuff. So I would strongly suggest you wear those. Uh, what was the most stressful time for you in deployment? The weight or being under fire? Uh, strangely, guys, and this may seem a little cliche, but being under fire was never really super stressful because you're just too busy. You're too busy doing your job. You're too busy thinking about other things than worrying about being shot at. When you get shot at at first, you kind of bring into that surreal mentality of this is happening like and it happens to everyone i think maybe not everyone it happened to me i kind of just like well okay this is happening like i didn't think i was actually going to get into a contact but it is happening right now and then very quickly you just get over it and you just go you just do what you need to do you don't have time to think about bullshit you know i'm gonna get killed or i'm gonna get shot this is scary it doesn't work like that you're too busy looking out for your buddies you're too busy going through the motions of the training you've been doing five or six months prior to so um, hey King Cobra, awesome name, I like that, it's a fantastic handgun, uh, welcome from the UK, are you looking forward to the C7 rifle, I am actually, I'm actually thinking of getting my own Patrick buddy, I know you've got the beautiful Tavor, you bastard, um, but I'd love to have my own for sure, it's, uh, have you ever served along any aircraft in your career, yes the A10 has served alongside me covering my angel on my wings in Afghanistan, not primarily for me, but for our entire uh, battle group at the time, is in Afghanistan and Helmand province, so A10s, Obviously, the Apache Longbow helicopter, along with Cobras, uh, the Kiowa uh, scout vehicle, a scout helicopter with a big old pigeon head on it. We used to call them pigeons. Um, the only reason I semi-quit Sairsoft is, as an organizer, I get really pissed off by kids doing really dumb stuff that can cost an eye. Yeah, you see, and then they're the kind of things that I just don't want to deal with. I have a daughter, I have a kid, I don't want to be blind raising her for the next however many years. 
I was going to join the army, but I fell into depression over the loss of a family member. I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. I really am. I am. All I can say to you with that, my friend, is don't let something like that burn you down your dreams. I, I get it's a very stressful, tough situation. I, I can't even imagine. Um, but I would strongly urge you to reconsider. That's all I'm saying. Just reconsider your options. Maybe just go talk to a recruiter and see what they say. You know, maybe not now. No, like maybe you're not ready yet, but maybe in the future you are. Just an option. Just think about it, okay, bud? Sounds like you could be quite passionate about being in the military. And if you're in depression, then maybe there's something they can help you with it to try and get you in. I would just like to know if AFC, if, if, if liked AFC Harrogate as I'm going in one year and looking forward to it. AFC Harrogate, greatest year of my life. Hands down. Greatest year. Nothing's beat it so far. Hey, I know this is kind of off topic. I'm joining the military, but I have flat feet. Do you think I have a chance of getting in? It's dependent. I'm not a med medical professional, so I would not know. I do know there is some conflicts with that, unfortunately. Um, have you ever used the Chris Vector? No, I haven't. It's a funny, interesting little rifle, isn't it? A little, I guess, submachine gun, whatever the hell it is. Do you have any Pashtun friends when you were in Afghanistan? I uh, actually had some really interesting friends in Afghanistan. There was a guy who used to, uh, well, he used to fill up our swimming pool. <laughs> We made a swimming pool. It's a long story, but uh, we made a swimming pool in. Uh... Oh shit! I'm against the Syrians again. Oh well, whatever. Um, we made a swimming pool out of a big old water drum, huge water drum, and we had a guy who would always fill it up. And what's called we used to call them jingly wagons because they used to hang bells and stuff all over their vehicles. And he used to fill up our swimming pool. And he was the nicest guy you could ever imagine. Just the nicest guy. Guys, what does this make you think of? Do you know what it makes me think of? Generation kill. Except we just don't have any infantry in them. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, I mean, I met some really nice Afghan guys. I also met some really horrible Afghan guys. But it's part and parcel of being in an environment like that. Not my country. They don't want me there. It's going to be expected. Okay, so we're going to do some serious generation kill shit here. Um, have you considered playing Ghost Recon Wildlands? <laughs> no, sorry, not my game. Uh, funniest moment in the army, you said you'd come back to it. Oh god. Um, one of my funniest moments in the army, and I'll actually be making a video on it in the future, was when I scared the crap out of a wild boar uh, with one of my vehicles in uh, Germany when we accidentally drove into its pig den nest thing, I guess. Um, we scared it off by using the exhaust on the engine. It was absolutely hilarious. Probably one of the funniest moments of my career, but that's a story for another day. Um, Dylan Briggs, really, that's cool, I guess, I hope. Maybe a recruiting range. Whoa, we're engaging something already. Not too sure what, but we should get these boys on top of these hills. Ideally, I'd like to get uh, some of these vehicles moving forward a little bit. I think these are anti-tank vehicles anyway, so we should probably... Are they anti-tank? Oh yeah, tow missiles on top, beautiful. We'll get them parked up on this side of the hill. Looks like they're already starting to line them up. Okay, fellas, push it out, push it out. This is some serious generation kill stuff we've got going on here. Uh, are you going to miss the M9 pistol, and are you looking forward to the M17 pistol? Uh, I never owned the M9. The British Army does not serve with M9 pistols. We served at my particular time in the career, the, uh, the Browning. Um, maybe I'm confused with my military designations for firearms. Maybe that was the M9 Browning, but I don't think we ever called it that. Um, but I don't miss the Browning very much, guys. I don't miss the Sig Sawyer either, but if I was given the option to choose one, I would probably go for the Browning, just because the Sig was very prone to jamming in the sand, which was the firearm I was issued in Afghanistan. Machine gun teams, get on top of this hill. I think we're absolutely smoking that fuck. Look at that firepower going down over there. It's generation kill, all right. Have you ever gotten the learning curve in Wargame Red Dragon yet? Look, <laughs> I'm no professional at Wargame, I'll admit that. But I, I think I hold my own. I don't think I'm that bad. Like, I do pretty good. Um, Javelin team. Let's get you up here too. Looks like it's starting to put some firepower down. Okay, vehicles. Let's push forward. What else have we got going on here? How do you go... Oh, they're starting to give us some hell now. I think there's some armor coming across. Come on then, let's take this fight to them. Let's push out the left flank. If 
If any of you have seen Generation Kill or haven't seen Generation Kill, I would strongly suggest you go watch it too. It is a fantastic show. One of my favorites. Absolutely great show. Uh, how long did you serve in the British Army? I served for seven years. Uh, did you ever get a chance to fire the Mark 19 while I was, whilst on tour? Yes, I did. Fantastic bit of kit. Absolutely amazing. Um, just incredible piece of firepower there. Can't really complain when you're firing 40 millimeter rounds nearly a thousand meters away. It's pretty impressive. Oh, we're getting hammered on that right side. I'm not good at this game, trust me. I suck at this game. It's just I'm getting lucky right now. Okay, troops, push forward, get into this village. Let's get these 50 cals used. Mark 19's going heavy though, that's good. Let's get some let's get some action footage, shall we? It gets boring just staring at him from a distance. Let's see if we can move him forward. Level him up with the rest of them. What's the oldest that you're allowed in the army before they retire you? Depending on the military buddy, I'm not too sure. Is that T-72? Ah, oh, they got BMPs coming in. BMP-3s. Interesting. <coughs> Challenger 2 versus M1A2 Abrams. I don't have an opinion on comparison, guys. You know I don't really do comparison videos, so I'm not really going to go there. I can't put my opinion on a tank that I've never served with or seen or anything like that. It just doesn't work like that for me, unfortunately, guys. Favorite ration pack? Ha! <laughs> British. Anything British. The Canadian MREs are nice, but they're nowhere near as good as the Brit stuff. Um, how do you feel about the Carl Gustav causing brain damage? <laughs> I've never heard of that before. That's news to me. They cause brain damage? I can't quite understand how, but I guess concussion from the black blast or something? They're not a rocket propelled... Well... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of that before, to be honest with you. It's interesting information you just gave me there. Okay, let's mop up this infantry generation kill. Got an old Grant Godfather on this ship. I'm just gonna storm him. Just gonna storm him. Humvees, forward! Full Humvee assault. No messing around. Look at that. Beautiful. Coffee or tea? Neither. I'm one of those weird British people that don't drink coffee or tea. I'm kind of a freak in that word. Was Chef Boyardi really such a big deal as it was in Generation Kill? We never got Chef Boyardi in the uh, British Army because we weren't issued and given that kind of stuff. And for the fact that we... I don't think you'd even buy it in the UK even if you snuck it in under the, ra under the rations. They're, they're calling in some artillery on me now. Where are they calling in that... E Artillery over here. Well out of range. Look at this. This is a nightmare. Holy shit. Humvees rolling on these infantry. Have you ever thought of doing a video on the Chroma Home Metal Van Tank? I've never heard of it. Sorry, to be honest. As long as you can run and do anything you need without pain, you'll be fine. Unless you've already been to a doctor. Yeah, yeah. What's your opinion on the Highway of Heroes here in Canada? Fantastic idea. Very, very, very respectful. Um, something I wish they would do all over the place. Um, just a fantastic idea. It, I mean, it really is. I'm going to stop them there. We're going to set them up to deploy their javelin there. In fact, I have the book, Highway of Heroes. I'm going to show you any minute now. Um, do I drink hot chocolate? Yes, I do. I love hot chocolate. It's beautiful. Speaking of Wargame, I think you should get used to using the key bindings. Yeah, I know. I'm really bad with the key bindings. It would make my life a lot easier. Um, have you ever played Full Spectrum Warrior? Never heard of it. Sorry. Have you ever seen Kajaki before? Fantastic film. Yes, it's not called Kajaki uh, originally, though. If it was actually called... Um, it was called... Someone remind me. Someone remind me what the other name for the film's called. Do you like maple syrup? Yes, I do like maple syrup. It's just a North Korean T-62 with slightly less armor. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I guess I should probably look into it, maybe in the future here. It's not something that's been on my top to-do list. Um, I haven't really focused on much Asian armor, really. Just for the fact it's very hard to find uh, information on accurate information on it. Um, we need to call some fire fucking support down here. I don't have any. God damn it. What else we got going on in the 
maple syrup is the best. Yes, it is. It's pretty damn good. Um, we're getting a little bit smoked here. I think these Bradleys are starting... Oh, Bradleys? They're not Bradleys. That's not a Bradley, Maximus. Come on. <laughs> um, but the BMPs are causing us a little bit of drama right now. This is what gets really frustrating, and I'm not too sure why this is happening. Someone let me know why I cannot see units until they're literally parked beside my Humvee. It never used to be like that. And these question marks, like, they never used to be like that. I used to be able to actually see units. Kilo 2 Bravo, that's it. OG Mark plays. Hello, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Tanks Encyclopedia has an article on it. Yeah, they're a fantastic bunch of guys. Uh, guys, um, if you haven't checked out Tanks Encyclopedia, uh, the website, please go and do that because they are a fantastic source of information. Um, I was invited to actually write some articles for them, unfortunately, due to my own commitments to my channel and uh, just the fact that I've had very limited time. I was unable to kind of contribute towards that fact, which I kind of feel a little bad for. But the same instance, you know, I only have a limited time. I've got family and stuff too, so... Um, let's get these guys moving in then. Get this infantry starting to pound in. Uh, what's your three favorite aircraft? F-22, F-16... F-22, F-16, A-10. In that order. Um, how about the Iraqi M1A1? Uh, well, I'm probably not going to be doing a review on that, unfortunately, Patrick, my friend. Click off the unit you're seeing only to what the unit can see. Okay. But even then, that's kind of odd. Okay, well, let's move them forward. Could really do some extra infantry support here. We've got a, this guy's on the 50, just lighting up the sky. That's it, fella. Burn him up, burn him up. What are your thoughts on the new... Would you... Oh, let me start. Go back. Nice haircut. Thanks, buddy. Tattoo's going along good. Um, would you recommend the GPMG or the SC-88 2? <laughs> Different firearms, pal. One's a, one's a medium machine gun and one's a, you know, individual weapon. It's hard to d define what would be a recommended in a battle, but i probably side towards the GPMG because it's a lot more ammunition and heavy caliber. What are your thoughts on the new proven supersonic anti-ship cruise missile? Not sure about it, but let me know what it's called first. Have you tried For Honor yet? No, I haven't, unfortunately. Uh, I'm technically a member of the site. Haven't really done much, so I feel more like a hindrance. Yeah, that's what I felt like. I felt like a bit of a hindrance. Not that I think they felt that way. I just felt that if I was, you know, I wasn't really as, as into it as they were and maybe just kind of, you know, you know what I mean. Have you ever seen the new leaked Chinese vehicle? Yeah, is that the... That's the... Uh, oh, what's it called now? I know what you're talking about. It's the Narinko vehicle, isn't it? Oh, if it's the one I think it is, it's really bad. Have you heard of the French Leclerc 140T4? Uh, no, let me know what that's about. What is the 140T4? Have you heard of the Finnish surplus store versus Luke? Nope, sorry, but I haven't. I have not. We seem to be slowly mopping up what's left in this area. Have you seen the SE-88-3? I haven't seen it firsthand, but I have seen the variant uh, in the public, sorry, in the uh, in the media. If you have a look at my SE-80 video, you'll see some pictures that I put in there of it. This poor fella. Come on, bud. Line him up. Is he reloading his... Marines total victory. Hell yeah. Yeah, we did. We lost uh, 25 men there, though. That wasn't exactly a total victory. Um... What's the song that plays at the very beginning of the PT-91 video? Oh man, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't remember every song I have in my videos. Just go to the video, retype the comment, and hopefully I'll remember to answer it if you want to find out the music. Uh, okay, let's end that one then. That was interesting. Uh, let's go to battle, shall we? Let's actually go to one that kind of makes a little bit more sense. Um... Alice Fist, we've already done that, I think. Uh, US Strike Company attempts to move past Syrian forces, guarding the far flank. Hold the highway from Syrian assault, large scenario, best played as Wego. I don't know what the hell that means. Oh shit, there's loads of them. I didn't see any of these. Oh shit, son, this is gonna be fun. Um, you pronounce it like, where is the liquor? Uh, how about US Navy aircraft carriers? Yep, I'll be doing reviews on them for sure, guys. The Navy stuff will be coming shortly also. Remember, though, I'm primarily focused on what I know best, which is armored vehicles, so I'm going to try to side on the edge of caution when it comes to Navy aircraft and Navy and aircraft. What do I think about AKs? Fantastic firearms. We already know this, I think. 
Oh my goodness, look at all these missions we can try! I did not know any of these existed. There's like loads and loads of them. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, I fucked up big time. I did not know any of this existed. This is going to be a lot of fun. Guys, stand by for a lot more Combo Mission Shock Force footage. Holy god. Um... Uh, Maximus has become full Canadian. He doesn't drink tea, and the Eurofighter is not his. <laughs> yeah, I guess the Eurofighter is not my top three. I'm technically not a Brit anymore. Um, what are you going to do in the artillery? Hopefully, be a gunner. We'll see, though. Let's go, let's go a day at the beach with the Marines. Uh, have you seen the French Famas platform update? Fill in. If so, what do you think about it? I haven't seen it yet, to be honest. To be honest, what do you think of the United States Navy, Matt? I'm considering joining. Can't give opinions on every branch of the military, guys. It's the U.S. Navy. They're clearly a, a power to be reckoned with. So that's, that's all I can really put on that. Do you have an Instagram I can follow? I don't have an Instagram, but I do have my Facebook. I do have my Patreon accounts. If you want to check out my Patreon account, go check the links uh, in this video. Um, support is always welcome. So, unfortunately, no, I don't have an Instagram. How many hours do you have in this game? Probably a lot. I mean, look at the amount of videos I've made on this game already. Um, enemy forces be mobilized East Coast Syria. 24th MEU is moving towards the invasion beaches. Secure landing beaches and move inland. Okay, we can do that. Um, links. Yay, Navy. I served on a mine layer. Links, tell me about your mine layer. Tell me about what you did on that. That's pretty neat. That's a cool... I didn't know you could continue set sea mines. I didn't know they were still a thing. What's your opinion regarding the current situation with the DPRK? <laughs> oh, God. Where to start? Um... It's tough to say, to be honest. I mean, let's just put it like this way. I don't want to go to war with Korea. I don't think anyone really wants to. Although we'll probably slam them from every which way, we're still going to lose a lot of people, and so are they. And I just, I'm not into just defining war as a good thing, you know. So, Although, if it comes to it, I'm always 100% ready to go. I am going to join the United States Marine Corps. Good for you, Andrew. Good for you, man. I hope you do very, very well. I'm sure you will. What are your... Uh, will you do more videos like walking with your dog? Mo marching with Maximus? Yes, I will. I will. Um, but I can't do much of that with this tattoo. So, got to wait until it's healed a little bit first, guys. Uh, my last comment was very broad. Have you read anything on the new M1A3 Abrams? No, I've been kind of leaving the M1A3 Abrams packaging um, upgrades and stuff for a while because I'd rather sort of hear more valid and solid information before hearing hearsay from some defense contracting review board. <coughs> Do you think NATO should put boots on the ground against ISIS? <laughs> oh goodness, that's a tough question. Um, yes, in in a grand scale of things, yes, I think they should. Um, how they go about doing that? I mean, they already technically are, but I think it should be on a grander scale for sure. Uh, okay, so we have technically landed on a beachhead right now. So uh, let's try and see what happens here. Bringing up the beautiful. AAVs. Okay. Are you gonna go... Are you gonna do... Oh shit, we're already getting struck down with artillery. That's not good. Oh, they know we're coming. They know we're coming. Push it up. It's like Omaha Beach all over again. Push it up. Let's go get off this beach. Get off this beach right now. Get off this fucking beach. Holy shit. Get off the beach. <laughs> go, 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 go. They're not happy we just landed on their beach. Have you ever watched the movie Fury? Yes, I have. It's a great movie up until the very end where they just ruined it. Unfortunately, I... I don't have much respect for the film up until the last... Well, I have a lot of respect up until the last about 40 minutes or so. And then it just drops because of that stupid road defense scene. Very, very poorly made. Hey, Matt. Smoothbore or rifle? Smoothbore now used to say rifle, but I did some more research. And unfortunately, I think smoothbore is now the way to go due to the various ammunition capabilities that we have going on. Does combat mission allow for mouse dragging to select multiple units? Uh, no, I don't think it does, but it does allow for shift uh, shift moves, like you hold shift and select a few units. But I tend to just like to individually micromanage my troops a little bit. A lot of people may be against that. Have you seen the movie Hot Fuzz? Yes, I have. Not one of my favorites, but it's a good movie. 
Okay, AAVs, let's get up. Can't do anything until I get these infantry moved up. I'm going to try and take this central compound here. Okay, let's keep these guys moving up this hill then. Sorry guys, I'm not answering as many comments as I would. I'm actually quite enjoying this little scenario we've got going on here. Uh, are you going to do a video on the Russian high-frequency radar? Probably not, sorry. What do you think of Sabine Private, Saving Private Ryan? Great movie, classic movie. It scared the crap of me as a kid. I was quite young when I watched it. I think it was about, I don't know, whenever it came out. <coughs> the violence, the gore was a little different for me compared to some of the older, uh, you know, the older movies that I'd seen. Um, hey Matt, when you were in Afghanistan, did you ever see any of the Northern Alliance's T-62s? Didn't see any armor other than the uh, friendly armor that we had. Holy shit, boys, get out of this vehicle, we're getting smoked. Go, go, go. Oh, they're all getting smoked. Pull it in, pull it in. Get inside this compound, let's go, let's go, let's go. Pop smoke, pop smoke, pop smoke. There we go, we're getting the smoke popped. There we go, look at that, beautiful. And we'll get the left flank to pop smoke. I don't know if he's got smoke. Why hasn't he got smoke? Okay, whatever. Uh, go, go, go. Get out of this vehicle. Disembark, fellas. Do I watch anime? Uh, no, I don't really watch it. I, maybe now and then, but not so much really anymore. Okay, this guy is heavily pinned. Holy crap. Something is just pounding this AAV. What rank are you in the British Army? I was a full corporal. Rathbus, it's getting late over here. Me, off to bed. Take care, King Cobra. Thanks for joining me today. Do you like the Land Rover, our Wimmick? Uh, I do, but unfortunately, a lot of lives have been lost due to that vehicle being placed in the wrong environment uh, that it should have been in. Why are these troops not deploying? It's probably still shell-shocked. Come on, boys. I need to wake up and get in the fight. We recently saw a few modern MBTs. What the fuck am I playing? Pac-Man. No, it's not Pac-Man. I actually really enjoyed Pac-Man. BTRs are causing some shit down here. This AAV's holding its own, though. It's getting fucking hammered, but it's holding its own. Can he pop smoke? He can't pop smoke either. Fuck me. Uh, I don't know if I should want to get these boys out, because this is going to get hammered by those BTRs. Do you know of the YouTuber Lindy Bridge? Yes, I do. A big fan of him. He kind of inspires me a little bit to do what I'm doing on my channel. For the most part, all these marines are just running away. They're like, no, fuck this. Salt up this hill. Let's go, move. Let's get these marines starting to do some firefighting. And let the AVs follow them up slowly. Fucking investigation meeting. I don't know what, I don't know what that means. Thanks, army kid. Take care, bud. Why can't you see the enemy? Um, because I have it on veteran mode right now, which is preventing me from seeing units unless I've actually clicked on the units that are engaging. So it's a little annoying, but uh, it works, I guess. Okay, these marines are going on a bit of a hill assault here. Oh shit, infantry! Come on, fellas! Okay, let's get this vehicle with pops of smoke. Up and smoke. Let's cover my boys. Don't those landing vehicles only have 30 caliber in the mini turret? They have a 7.62, yeah, on the top. But that is it. Some of them have uh, 40 mic mics, I think, as well, to be honest. Like Lindy Bridges' Future Tanks video. Yeah, he's got some really cool he's got some really cool content, that's for sure. He's got a javelin. I need you guys to start engaging. Ooh, we got some cobras. Fuck yeah, we'll bring those in. Cobras all the way. What can you guys see? Oh, you can't call in shit. Could really do with some support on that left flank. Cobras. Point target. Area target. Area target. There we go. Heavy general 
Just send it. Let's get another one in there. Calling in the Cobras. Oh, what else we got down here? Uh, most missed food item from the UK. Crunchy Nut Cereal, guys. Fucking miss Crunchy Nut Cereal so much. It's like, not even funny how much I miss it. Matt, do British officers duck in your experience? <laughs> yeah, they do duck. And they'd be stupid not to in the environments I've seen them in. Oh, these infantry are starting to push up pretty nicely now. That's it, Marines. Give them hell. Give them no fucking quarter. Push, push, push. This guy's fucking 40 millimeter right there. He's giving them hell. Losing a lot of good Marines here, though, boys. Machine gun team, let's get up this hill. Shit. Man down. That vehicle is out for the count. What's your view on anti-satellite missiles? That's an interesting uh, tech. Something I know fuck all about, but it'd be interesting to see... Uh, be interesting to see if they actually work. Come on, platoon, wake the fuck up. Get back into the fight. You're supposed to be marines. You're carrying like little bitches. I technically failed this mission miserably, but it's still a lot of fun. Uh, can you do a video on the BTR-90? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to be doing the striker and the BTR-90 in the future, for sure. Definitely going to be doing that. These guys are so fucking shell-shocked, it's not even funny. Okay, let's try and get these boys into this building. Poor Marines are getting absolutely slashed. They got, I mean, they got the hill against them. I mean, we're working uphill against armored enemies that are just dug in like ticks. For those of you who have just recently joined, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, having some fun on some Combat Mission Shock Force, or getting my ass kicked, pretty much. Some of these Marines wished I was never born. Holy shit, they're right on top of them. Frag out. <laughs> Beautiful. Cobras are coming in, they're gonna try and put some firepower down on the left side. What is the story with the Landra Defender in the Middle East? Uh, well, they're cheap. They're cheap and easy to acquire, so that's why they probably bought a lot of them. They're easy to get. Do you ever wish modern Battlefield games include the British Army? I do. Unfortunately, this is a game that does include the British Army. So I'm really glad to actually see that they've brought uh, a mod for this game to allow the British Army to be inside of it. Do you ever... I've uh, already seen that. Hey, Matt, I hate to be a pain in the hatchback, but what is the status of the Zolfefer? I don't know what that is. Remind me. What do you think about the USA sending its aircraft carrier, career, carrier and destroyers to support the Pakistan war against India during Cold War times? Here comes the uh, Cobras uh, to build platform for terrorists. Sorry dude, a lot of politics going on there in terms of different countries I wouldn't know myself. What is your favourite army term for example? I like fish. Um, <laughs> um, FUBAR. I like FUBAR. Opinion on the military budget cuts in Canada. Don't get me started. Canada is getting burnt to the ground for its military right now, and I just it makes me very, very sad. Here come the Cobras. Call in some fire support on this position, because I know there's a lot of troops in there. Um, are the engagement ranges realistic in this game? Hard to tell with the difficulty saying. I'd say they're pretty realistic, for sure. Yeah, they are pretty damn realistic. Javelins can fire quite a ways, which is good, because they should. Um, I meant their use in the army. You said they kill people. I don't remember what you were talking about there. Sorry, bud. What do you think of the Grenadier Guards? Uh, they're an infantry unit. They're renowned for their drill. <coughs> They've served in multiple conflicts, and they're a good bunch of guys from what I've ever dealt with them. Uh, enjoy your Mose and the Gants with those cuts, Matt. Yeah, buddy, I know, Quigs. It's fucking ridiculous. Just getting burned to the ground, buddy. Okay, we're going to take these... Here comes the artillery. I don't know where it's coming. On top of that hill, by the looks of it. Okay, he can't... Oh, he can move. I think we've actually secured a bit of this hillside. Come on then, boys. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Oh, yeah. Get some. Beautiful. 
Oh my god, we're already getting hammered. Something is taking us out. as an anti-tank team right in that road. Take it out. Take it out now. We got a fucking RPG just lighting me up. Holy shit. Okay, change direction. Left shift. Have you heard any news about Escalation 1985? Uh, unfortunately, no. Um, I actually stepped away from Escalation 1985. I felt like I was kind of be more of a hindrance to them than anything else. Um, so, unfortunately, I will come back to them when um, I guess they make their own public releases. Uh, this game is called Combat Mission Shock Force. Uh, what is your opinion on the view that the heat has reached its upper limit anti armor efficiency? Uh, I need to do some research. Sorry, I can't really put much on that. Uh, no many cheap PCs that can run Steel Beasts, uh, Max Graphics. Oh my god, my boy's on the left here again. Absolutely hammered. Um, I don't know many PCs right now, um, or the technology upgrades and stuff, PCs, because I just haven't really been looking into it. Fuck, boys. We're getting hammered here. Poor Marines are just getting smoked. This AI is pretty damn good. Cobras are still lighting up that area. Naval mines are really effective in coastal areas and narrow places like the Gulf of Finland. Cool, I didn't know we could still lay naval mines. How old is this game? Old. Very old. Any progress in joining the reserves? Uh, nope. They, I don't think they have any interest in really getting me in in any way, shape, or form. To be honest, I think it's more of a hindrance to them than anything. They just don't care. Steel Division is out. Go players, not a real RTS. Yeah, Steel Division is... meh. It's cool and all that, but it's, it's certainly not as good as Wargame in my own, in my own opinion. Do you think there should be an all-new Patton tank, maybe as a cheap alternative to the Abrams? No, probably not. I don't think so. Um, we are definitely losing this one. Safe to say, I think we've lost this one. What do we have in terms of artillery? We've got a lot of artillery. Let's see if this AAV can make any more progress into this village. Uh, do you agree with cluster munitions? What do you mean by agree with cluster munitions? Do you mean, like, using them? Because, I mean, if it gets the job done, why not? I mean, they're clearly very effective. So did you try Project Reality? If, if yes, why no uploads? No, I've already tried Project Reality in the past. It was not a game for me, guys. Unfortunately, it just wasn't a game that I really had much interest in. Just wasn't for me, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to come out of this because I'm getting a little bored of it. And um, we're going to play some Steel Beast Pro because why not?